Hey, morning. I thought I'd introduce you to the best horse trainer on this place. Uh, and it's not me, a little clue. Uh, this is Farah, she's a yearling. So we're still a number of months away from riding her, but I do get her out and juke her around, mess with her a little bit. And I do this with all the horses on the place if I have time. When I finish working them, I do not just turn them out. Instead, I bring them over here to the best horse trainer on the place, which is right here, this post. And I'll tie them to this post. Now I like to use these tie rings. They're not absolutely essential, but I think they're a pretty good little deal. Uh, you can just also just wrap the rope if you need to, but I just tie that horse to that post and leave her there for an hour or two, three hours. It kind of depends on the horse and what they're able to do. But in order to be a horse trainer, here are some things you need. Patience. Consistency. Third thing is knowledge. But this post has patience and consistency, and it'll give this horse a lot of knowledge just leaving her there by herself let her think about the meaning of life and all that kind of stuff had a young lady contact me a few weeks ago and she said my horse paws when i tie it up what should i do and i said leave it there until it quits and it may take a while but eventually that post will teach that horse some patience and some knowledge and so best horse trainer on the place hopefully i'm number two